Hello everyone, welcome to Scoreboard Gaming, in today's video, we're gonna look 4 underrated Game Boy Advance games. As usual, don't forget to like and subscribe, also, hit the notification button, so let's go straight to the video. Ballistic, X vs Sever X vs Sever is a FPS developed by Crawfish Interactive and published by BAM. Entertainment for the GBA The game was released in 2002. It is noteworthy for being one of the earliest first-person shooters on the handheld. X vs Sever features a single-player campaign and a multiplayer mode. Players can choose to play as either Jonathan X or Sever, two characters with different storylines. The game includes a variety of weapons that players can use to engage enemies, and it features levels with different objectives and environments. In single-player mode, the player progresses through a series of missions, encountering enemies and completing objectives. The multiplayer mode allows for link cable support, enabling two players to connect their GBA systems for head-to-head -head multiplayer action. Given the limitations of the GBA's hardware, the visuals of X vs Sever are relatively basic compared to other contemporary FPS on more powerful platforms. The game uses a simple graphics engine to render its environments and characters in a 3D perspective. In summary, X vs Sever is a notable attempt to bring a first-person shooter experience to a handheld platform. While it faced challenges in terms of graphics and controls, it holds a place in gaming history as one of the early entries in the genre for the GBA. Shaman King, Master of Spirits Master of Spirits is an action-adventure based on the Shaman King manga and anime series. It was developed by Konami and released for the GBA in 2004. The game combines exploration, puzzle-solving, and combat elements, allowing players to experience the world of Shaman King. In Master of Spirits, players assume the role of Yo Asakura, a young shaman with the ability to communicate with spirits. The game's structure is similar to a Metroidvania, with players exploring interconnected areas, solving puzzles, and gaining new abilities to access previously unreachable locations. The primary gameplay involves navigating through different environments, defeating enemies, and using Yo's shamanic abilities to interact with spirits and progress through the story. Yo can also befriend spirits, known as Guardian Ghosts, each with unique abilities that aid in both combat and exploration. The game features real-time combat against various enemies, and Yo can use his spirit powers and weapons to defeat them. As players advance, they can upgrade Yo's abilities and unlock new shamanic powers, enhancing his combat prowess. Master of Spirits adopts a 2D sprite-based visual style, characteristic of GBA games. The character sprites and environments aim to capture the essence of the Shaman King series, featuring recognizable characters and locations from the manga and anime. The narrative of the game follows Yo's journey to become the Shaman King. Players encounter characters from the Shaman King series, each contributing to the unfolding story. The game's plot is presented through in-game dialogue and cutscenes. In summary, Shaman King Master of Spirits is an action-adventure game that successfully brings the world of Shaman King to the handheld platform. It is recognized for its enjoyable gameplay, exploration elements, and its appeal to fans of the manga and anime series. Eggmania Eggmania is a puzzle video game developed by Hot Gen and published by Kemco. It was released for the GBA in 2002. The game combines elements of puzzle and action genres and is known for its fast-paced gameplay. In the game, players control a character inside a falling tower of blocks. The objective is to build a tower as high as possible by strategically placing falling blocks. The blocks have various shapes, and players must rotate and position them to create a stable tower. The game's puzzle mechanics involve balancing the tower's structure while dealing with the increasing speed of the falling blocks. Adding to the challenge, certain power-ups and obstacles affect the gameplay. Power-ups can provide advantages or hinder opponents, as Eggmania supports multiplayer, allowing players to compete against each other. The game's fast-paced nature keeps players on their toes as they try to outbuild their opponents or reach specific height goals. Eggmania features a cartoonish and colorful visual style. The characters and environments are designed to be whimsical and entertaining, contributing to the lighthearted atmosphere of the game. The game offers various modes, 
including a single-player mode where players progress through levels and a multiplayer mode for competitive gameplay. In multiplayer, players can compete against each other to see who can build the tallest tower or who can outlast their opponents in a race to the top. In summary, Eggmania is a puzzle game that offers a blend of strategy and action as players try to build towers of falling blocks. It stands out for its multiplayer mode and lighthearted presentation, providing an enjoyable experience for fans of puzzle games on the GBA. Shining Force, Resurrection of the Dark Dragon Resurrection of the Dark Dragon is a tactical RPG developed by Camelot Software Planning and published by Sega. It is a remake of the classic Sega Genesis game Shining Force, the legacy of great intention. The GBA version, known as Shining Force, Resurrection of the Dark Dragon, was released in 2004. Resurrection of the Dark Dragon follows the traditional tactical RPG formula. Players control a group of characters, each with their own unique abilities and classes, on a grid-based battlefield. The game features turn-based combat, where players strategically position their characters, attack enemies, and use magic and special abilities to defeat opponents. Outside of battles, players navigate an overworld map, explore towns, interact with non-playable characters, and advance the story through various events and encounters. The game emphasizes character development, allowing players to recruit new members to their party, level up existing characters, and equip them with weapons and items. The game adopts a colorful and sprite-based visual style, typical of GBA games. Character and enemy sprites are visually appealing, and the game maintains the charm of the original Sega Genesis release while taking advantage of the GBA's capabilities. The narrative of Resurrection of the Dark Dragon follows a young warrior named Max as he leads the Shining Force to stop the Resurrection of the Dark Dragon and save the Kingdom of Guardiana. The story unfolds through in-game dialogues, cutscenes, and interactions with various characters. While the core gameplay and story remain faithful to the original, the GBA version includes several enhancements and changes. The graphics have been updated, and new character portraits were introduced. The game also includes additional content and side quests, providing players with more opportunities to explore the world of Rune. In summary, Shining Force, Resurrection of the Dark Dragon is a well-received tactical RPG that combines classic gameplay with updated visuals for the Game Boy Advance. It remains a favorite among fans of the Shining Force series and tactical RPG enthusiasts. And that's it for today's video, if you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know in the comments, Thank you so much to watch, I'll see you soon, bye.